What's up, Stu Group? Successful people are that way because they continue when others stop. Don't quit. It's Get Fit Friday. One, two, three, four. It's time to get fit. It's time to get fit. Before the weekend hits. Before the weekend hits. It's time to get fit. Now. It's time to get fit now. Fit now. Fit now. We're big now. How about that guys? Fit Now with Bass Dow. That jingle blows my mind and it was created by none other than Stu Crew member Rap CPA. Total surprise over there. Please show him some Stu Crew love and check out his channel. Guy's got some mad skills. And speaking of success, how about an overnight success five years in the making? I'm talking about a lovely lady who I call my friend Francesca Ramsey. You know her on YouTube as Cheska Lay. You guys may have come across the video, viral hit, shit white girls say, two black girls. My best friend was black. I mean, she's still black, but we're not really friends anymore. She's an example of what happens on YouTube and what you can make possible by following your dreams and doing some hard work. It's not like this lady tripped over talent three days ago and all of a sudden magic happened. She's been working hard for many, many years now people are taking notice, the doors are open, and right now she has the eyeballs on her. Remember that, Francesca. You've got the eyeballs on you now, so you've got to keep them captivated. Anyway, guys, make sure to check out her channel, youtube.com slash Cheskalay. Say that I sent you, and success story. This is what can happen to you. And now, nice segue onto the show. If you guys have started to make fitness a part of your life in the new year, for you to become successful, you've got to take that first step, which often involves joining a gym. So here are some tips on getting started. If you've never set foot in a gym but are eager to try out that new membership, I have a few tips for you. Don't be daunted by other people exercising or by the machines they're using. Follow my rules and you'll be a welcome member before you know it. One of the most important rules of gym etiquette is wiping down the machines after you're done using them. Most gyms offer a disinfectant spray bottle and towels for wiping the machines, so there's no excuse to leave them wet with your sweat. It's also important to know how to correctly use each machine, so feel free to ask if you don't. Gym staff and fellow gym mates shouldn't bite your head off if you ask a question, so don't be afraid. If any of them do get nasty, don't ask that person again. One thing you need to remember is to ask people who look like they know what they're doing. Knowing when to ask for a spotter isn't just safe, it's smart. Try to find someone who is doing a similar exercise and ask to work in with them. Before you know it, people will be coming to you to be a spotter, and of course it's only polite to reciprocate. Sometimes people will rest in between their reps on the machine, and then you can ask to work in. But don't take offense if another gym member doesn't want you to do that. Think of the machine as their home or on a first-come, first-served basis. They have the say. By following these simple rules, you'll be able to fit right in at your new gym. And now, Stu Crew, as promised, Every video up to the Shorty Awards, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a Shorty update and shouting out some of you guys, because if you take the time to go to shortyawards.com slash John out and vote for me, the least I can do is give you a shout out on the show. So I'm picking some at random, have them here on my Blackberry, and if you guys who didn't vote yet, please go to shortyawards.com slash John out, hit up that vote in the social fitness category. Like I said, social media and fitness had a baby. Social fitness. All right, in rapid fire, shout outs for today. There's gonna to be five of them. Number one, the AP Bikini Team. Uh, retweeting on Cavino and Rich, who also nominated me, uh, says, uh, I nominate John Baystow for a Shorty Award in social fitness because of his great fitness tips and greater rap skills, yo. Next one is Mike Lazito. I nominate John Baysdale for a Shorty Award in social fitness because he looks good in the mall ads. Next one is Rich Davis, part of Cavino and Rich. Two from Cavino and Rich in this grouping. Uh, Cavino and Rich, if you guys don't know, is my favorite radio show. Uh, it's on Sirius XM. I come on pretty much every month. 
go vote for them too. Uh, they are in the radio category at shortyawards.com slash Pavino and Rich. Uh, Rich Davis anyway says, I nominate John Baystow for a Shorty Award in social fitness because he's my dude bro. Next one we got is Tugmaster Tommy. I love your names. Uh, Tugmaster Tommy says, I nominate John Baystow for a Shorty Award in social fitness because he's ripped like Jesus and he can rap. Oh, loving the rap. And then uh, hashtag be Dizzle. Just loving it. All right, next one, last one is Sally Shields. Sally Shields says, I nominate John Baystow for a Shorty Award in social fitness because he's accessible, kind, supportive, and cares about you. Oh, that one tugs at my heartstrings. Thank you, Sally. Honestly, guys, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for the support. I think we're still in second, at least as of the taping of this. Um, I think we're in second. Let's see if we can rock it to first. More votes and bring friends. Please post it on your Facebook, put it on your Tumblr, tweet it out, whatever. Shortyawards.com slash John Basedow. Cast a vote, and you may be appearing on the next episode of New Media Stew. Until then, much love and respect. What do you want to say to the fine folks? This is the stew crew that you're talking to. I love you guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Much love and respect. <laughs>